If you're on an ultra tight budget and you're building a Ryzen based PC, well don't worry, AMD's got a solution for you with a brand new B840 chipset motherboards. The cheapest of the cheap. And of course, with that come quite a few compromises. Now, looking at the spec sheet, obviously the main thing that jumps out is the fact that you'll be most limited to just PC Gen 3. That means that you may not even get Gen 4 speeds for your graphics card. However, that really does not matter in practice that much, and the difference in performance between the two really isn't that big. Now, of course, there's also PC Gen 5, and the difference in performance there could be a bit bigger. However, PC Gen 5 cards are only just beginning to come out with NVIDIA's recent RTX 50 series and AMD's upcoming RX 90 series. However, the counter argument to that is, if you're buying one of these ultra-budget motherboards, you're probably not buying one of these graphics cards anyway. And besides, this part of the chart is kind of misleading anyway and probably deserves to be community noted on Twitter, given how most of the few B840 motherboards already on the market do actually support PC Gen 4 on your graphics card or SSD. Partly, probably because it just doesn't cost them that much more to include 4.0 speeds at this point, but also to kind of avoid the customers suffering from FOMO by buying into this older standard and making them think that they're losing out on a lot of performance even if in reality they aren't. One thing you will be very much losing out on on these motherboards boards is faster USB given how you're limited to just 10 gigabit per second ports at max which isn't a lot. You also get no CPU overclocking with these boards either. However if you're fine with these compromises then congrats you may have just found your next motherboard. Well okay maybe not and that's for several reasons. Number one as I already alluded to there really isn't too many of these boards out on the market right now. It's the definition of slim pickings at least right now. And number two they actually aren't that much cheaper than many current gen B850 boards or even last gen stuff that you can get on some crazy sales now. You can only get a motherboard so cheap and again to be a bit more competitive they are still sneaking in some features from higher end boards into these ultra budget models just to give them an edge over the competition which does make the price increase a bit more there. Now it doesn't mean that these are bad motherboards, they still have pretty much everything you could need and again you can still expect some of those nicer features like Wi-Fi 7 or PC Gen 4 However, they are very much limited in many other areas, like for example the USB speeds. But if you are really on a tight budget, then I guess these aren't half bad, so you can buy one by using our links up in the iCards or down in the video description below. But I would recommend looking into other B850 or X870 variants you can get instead, which we have plenty of videos on. So maybe check those out as well, alongside checking out our Patreon, because that is always a fantastic deal. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Froniak, Bolish Voka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mike Sumner, Shane Allcroft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.